Hey everybody, I'm Mary and this is my simple cottage life. Well, good evening everybody. This is Saturday evening and it's about 20 minutes to 10. So, Friday morning at 1 a.m. Um, we had a really, really, really bad storm. It blew down a whole lot of stuff in my yard, and I've got pictures of it, and I'll show you. We just got all that darn mess cleaned up, and we're having to do it all over again. This time, I've lost some big trees. So, of course, the power went out to the tune of something like 49,000 people. And it was in my area, but it was a wide, wide area. Several cities and towns, communities included, and also countryside. Because Upshur County is a great big county. And uh, they do service rural, um, you know, communities and so forth. That's your head sink that in. Let that sink in your head. 49,000 people facing Friday, temperatures at 100 degrees with no air conditioning, no fans, no way to get cold water, no way to cook their food. Uh, I mean, man, even if you had ramen in the cabinet which I do I gotta have hot water to to put it in you know and I don't have hot water because I've got an electric stove but that wasn't the important part the important part was it was hot as Hades in this house none of my windows raised so I had to have my front door and my back door in the kitchen I had to open it up and I put um, barriers, pet barriers, gates, you know, across there. So those cats wouldn't come in, so this cat wouldn't go out, so these dogs wouldn't go out. And I had to leave those doors open because that was my only source of air, fresh air. And it was hot air blowing in the back door, blowing in the front door, hot air. No, I have not cut my hair. <laughs> I just noticed it looked like I was going back to being a having a bird, doesn't it? But I've got it up in a little thingy dooch back here. You know, thingy dooch. Watch my call it. Uh, so I kept those doors propped open. Well, in came wasps, and in came spiders, and in came the fleas, and in came the bugs, and in came the mosquitoes. And I used to have little, those little magnet things on the door, you know, magic little door, whatever it is, you walk through it and it'll snap back together. Well, LG, the little devil, and uh, Georgie, when they were little, they climbed on that thing until they tore it up. Now, the front door was a pain in the neck because when I would come home, try to come through the door, my door is not like anybody else's door, I swear. You don't just put your key in and turn it and expect it to open. No, you got to take your left hand, pull the handle back, take your right hand, put the key in and turn it all the time when you're holding back that, that meshy thing. So I ripped that off of there a long time ago. But because it was ripped off of there a long time ago, I don't have uh, uh, any way to keep the bugs out. 
and that was the only source of air, no kidding, and ever so often we'd get a breeze, but that was one heck of a storm. So the problem was there were there were substations, their electrical substations were so damaged, such, such damage, that they couldn't handle all, all the problems. I mean, 49,000 people, and these, a lot of people are spread out, way spread out, you know? So, one wonderful thing is today, around noon, in Gilmer, I, I saw pictures of at least 13 to 14 uh, electrical power vehicles with their linemen and all their equipment and they drove into Gilmer. That hurts my heart, sort of. It's heartwarming. They rolled into Gilmer to help our people here because we needed them. We definitely need it. They've left their homes, they've left their families, and they came to do a dangerous job, but boy, all those trucks rolling in. It reminded me of Hurricane Harvey, and um, it showed miles and miles and miles of trucks pulling boats heading toward Houston during Hurricane Harvey. I don't know if y'all ever saw it. YouTube has it somewhere on there, just typing boats. Uh, Hurricane Harvey and you'll see what I'm talking about. Man, that made me cry when I saw that. I mean it. But here they came. They came to help. So they're out there and they're, they're working in the night. Through the night, y'all. So I had a bad day. It was 100 degrees in this house yesterday. And I would take washcloths and dab, dab, dab and dab myself and put it, oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. I didn't have any. I didn't have anything. Oh, and let me tell you this while I'm thinking about it. All my food is is gone. It was in the freezer. It was, but it's been two days of hundred degree temperatures, and there's no way. I mean, I I can't save it. You can't cook it. How am I going to cook it? I have electrical uh, electric stove. I can't cook it. Uh. You can't just refreeze it. Some of it I had uh, beef liver, I think, or calf liver, one or the other, in there. You can't you can't refreeze that stuff once it's thawed. And I had just bought all that stuff too. I bought I spent over a hundred and something dollars on my food <laughs> last week. Put it in my freezer. Excuse me. I've had a rough time. We all in this area have had a rough time. Nobody has had a more rough time than another, unless a tree fell on their house, and there are a lot of those, a lot of those. And mine fell, but they're in the yard, and they can be cleaned up. But I've, I know of trees that have fallen on people's homes and destroyed their homes. God bless them. So, today, uh, I thought I could well, I toughed it out. I toughed it out on Friday. I can tough it out on Saturday. Yeah. So today, I keep getting my finger in the uh, camera, and I don't know how I'm doing that. Golly bum, I'm not very smart half the time. Uh, shoo, I just keep doing it. Sorry. Um, so I was doing pretty good. I went through, I got to through about mm, 12 o'clock noon. And man, it started getting really, really hot. And I thought, oh no, because it it was seemed to me that it was a hot, lot hotter than it was yesterday, which was Friday. Well, I don't know when it was. Um, about three o'clock, I think Brian called me and said he had power in his house. Now he only lives about three miles from me. But he had power, and I was, oh my, I was so hopeful. I thought, well, he's got power, so that means I'm going to have power pretty soon. Because usually when I my power goes out, his goes out, and vice versa. But I haven't had power yet, and like I told you, it's almost 10 o'clock, and I still don't have power. 
so he talked to me a little while on the phone and he said well how are you doing and I said well this is my roughest day it, 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 it's really bad today I, I'm having a hard hard time okay so in a little while here comes Brian knocking on the door he brings this great big thing of he calls it a care package let me show you his care package okay see all that stuff he brought stuff in there for me to use, for me to need. And this right here is a coal pack. And it's got uh, all kinds of drinks in it and water and uh, these ice packs. In fact, I have one right here that I've got put on the back of my neck. So two big ice packs and a whole bunch of cold drinks and stuff like that. And... and uh, also a bunch of flashlights and uh, gosh I don't know a bunch of stuff so he's here and he he says I, I think maybe you need you need your you need a fan in here and he had this little bitty fan with him it's a little vapor, battery operated fan and I, I was tickled with it I thought it was great it fed on my table here blow right in my face that's what I needed because I sat here yesterday and fanned myself. And I'm going to show y'all that when I'm at it. Nelda Kaufman. This is a card that you gave me on my birthday. And I will read all this later. But it's all about wonderful friendships. And Nelda, your card is the one I used today, or yesterday rather, and part of today, to keep myself cooler. So you kind of saved the day for me there by sending me this wonderful card. But the message inside is fabulous, and I'm going to read that to y'all when I get an opportunity. Anyway, let me get back to what I was saying. I can't even remember what I was saying now. It's so exciting around here all the time, isn't it? Constantly something going on. So he goes home. He brings up a generator, and that's a small generator. He, he had to go and get gas. For the generator he filled it up he got it going it's out here on my front porch he's um got the thing through the door so i'm able to shut my door but i can't shut it all the way you know and, and lock it because that cord's running through and i'm able to have my lights up here i don't know if y'all can see that no you can't okay take my word for it i have a light right here and uh, I was able to charge my phone. Um, I'm able to have that fan right there. You see that fan? Do you see that fan? Yes. And I'm able to have this fan right here. And boy, is that a whole lot better than yesterday. Uh, and it just kept getting hotter and hotter and hotter. I thought I was going to pass out. If Brian hadn't bought this stuff for me, and he went, he got, he went and got the the gas for it, and then he brought me back. He brought back a double double meat cheeseburger and tater tots and a large vanilla shake <laughs> from Sonic. And boy, was I glad to have that shake because everything was, has been closed for the last two days. All the uh, uh, restaurants and fast food places, even Walmart, believe it or not, was closed. Not just Gilmer, but in Longview and other places around. Longview has about five or six Walmarts and they were all closed down. Gas stations were closed down. Nobody had power. So you can't buy gas uh, because they don't have power to pump the gas. Well, then they got a few of those going and the people were lined up, just, as they say, around the block to fill their cars up with gas. I thankfully filled my car up with gas. I'm thirsty. Yeah, I did. Before the, or Friday morning before the, before the, uh, no, it had to be Thursday. I don't know, heck. It was the day before the storm. The storm was on Friday. Anyway, so I hear 
thumping like drums, like bass. And I don't know who in the world, it's probably the guys of people across the street, way across the street. It's that loud that I hear it here. And why in the world are they having a party tonight? Nobody has power. I don't want parties when I don't feel good anyway. And y'all, I even tried, I tried my best to take a shower and as soon as I got in there and that cold water hit me because my skin was really, really hot. And that cold water hit me and I thought I was gonna pass out. And I've done that before. I was so hot after mowing one time that I got in the shower, turned on the water even though it wasn't cold. And when that water hit me, I just immediately passed out and fell over the side of the bathtub. Yeah, I did. So, uh, I, I, I tried, but as soon as I got out of the bathtub, I didn't even dry off till I was burning up hot again. I can't just sit in the bathtub all day long, can I? It's my Thule here. It's my Thule baby. Well, she ran off, golly. Anyway, that's my story. Uh, today, I thought I had a heat, not a heat stroke, but uh, whatever the other one is. There's a heat stroke and there's a heat something else. I can't even remember. I knew it a while ago. Now I've forgotten what it is, but I had it. I think that's what happened to me because I could not walk. It was like it was in New York, sort of. I couldn't walk. Uh, I, I, I just couldn't do, I couldn't think, I couldn't do anything. I was that incredibly hot. It was so hot. 100 degrees, closed up in a house with just the front door open and the back door open and it's not much breeze coming in at all when it's 100 degrees outside. Anyway, I've got cleanup to do. I'm gonna get, uh, Cody's daddy is gonna come back. Cody's daddy came out today and looked at the trees and brought Cody, and Cody walked around, and he got some water I had on the porch for him. And I was so glad to see him. I went out there and I, the guy got out of the, John got out of his truck and I said, Hi, did you bring Cody? <laughs> I said, not that I'm not glad to see you, but I'm super glad to see Cody. And he just kind of laughed. And Cody looked up at the mirror and got out of the car. He's such a doll. Oh, he is such a sweetheart. So anyway, that's my story. That's where I've been. That's what's been happening. It was a heck of a time. It was a horrific time. I still don't have power yet. Uh, they say... We may not even have power till Monday. A lot of people who are still without, something like 30,000 people still without power. And this is day two. So helpfully with all the linemen coming in from all over Houston, Louisiana, thank you, thank you, thank you for all those wonderful linemen who are coming to help us. I appreciate it ever so much. And I know all the Texas people up here in East Texas appreciate you too. So hopefully they'll get it fixed tomorrow. If not, maybe it'll be Monday. But right now I'm doing the best I can. Brian told me a while ago, I got a text from him. He said, now when the generator turns off, you give me a call, call me and I will come fill up the, um, fill it up with gas. So bless his heart. I mean, even if it's 11 or 12 o'clock at night, he'd come fill it up. He saved me again, again. I told him that. I said, once again, you have saved me because I don't know what I would have done, y'all, had I, had I not been able to get some relief from the heat. It's still warm in here. I mean, my fans are great, but they're pushing around hot air, but at least it's some air. And I'm not, I'm not having, um, you know, feel like I want to faint. The dogs are still panting. Anyway, all right, y'all. That is what uh, that's what's been going on here. I hope to see you soon. I will hope I'll post this when I get it, along with videos of uh, or pictures rather of the trees. So. 
Hope y'all all have a great day. I hope you stay cool wherever you are. I'll see you soon. Hope God is good to you. Bye-bye. I had a better night last night. Brian bought, brought all that stuff down here. All those fans and that generator. And I had a better night, but it was still kind of fitful and I had to have my doors open still last night. Good news, it is 11 o'clock and the power just came on. <laughs> Blessed power. We don't know how lucky we are until we have to do without something. And that comes, that goes with everything, doesn't it? Okay, y'all have a great day. See you soon. Bye-bye.